So in this video today, I want to show you how to make a travel guide book cover. As one of our friends requested, they wanted a travel guide uh, for Paris, Paris travel guide book cover. Now, before we start making this travel guide, what I want you to know is that for it, things like it, like travel guides, images played 70% of the role in the back cover. 70% of the back cover are images. If you can get a correct, nice image, then you can make a very good back cover for a travel guide. Any travel guide, just get the correct image. To show you, to prove that what I'm saying is correct, let's go to Amazon, check for Paris travel guide. So if I click here, I come here and I say Paris travel guide. You can see that people have been searching for it. So I click here, Paris travel guide. I'll start with this one. You can see that the, the back cover, 70% image and only 30% words. Even this next one, the 70% is covered by the image, image, image. As you can see, the image, image, image is dominating the whole cover. So the first thing to do is to find the correct image. And how do you find the correct image? So you go to pixels and find the correct image. So to find the correct image, you come here to pixels and you look for Paris. Just type Paris and then you search through. You click through and search to find a nice image of Paris. As you can see, all this is Paris. So if I can click here, I download this one and you'll see that this is the image of Paris. So it has downloaded there. Since it has downloaded, then I can put it into Canva. So I come to Canva from here. All I have to do is write book cover. Yes, write book cover. And then after that, I click on this one, create blank. So I click on create blank. Now from here, you're going to name it book cover. Name it book cover. So I've named this book cover and then I can start to design my book cover from here. But first, let me upload the image which we had. So I click here, click on upload files. After uploading, click on downloads. The file should, it should be here. So I click on this and I bring the image into Canva. Now the image is here, so I'll click on it and you see the image has arrived here. So then I stretch it and try to manipulate it to fit the back cover. Yes. So this is the image that I want to use. The other day I talked about balance. So you can balance, you can try to balance this image to make sure that it fits on this cover well. So to balance this image, all I have to do is stretch this and I want this to be on this side. So I'm going to do this. I want this to be on this side. Actually stretch it very well. Just make sure, make sure the image is being seen. So make it like that. As you can see, there's what you call balance. So this image, you can see that this tower is this side. So this tower is this side. That means it has left for us only this side to write. Consider this side is unbalanced. So this is where we are going to put our writing. So to put your writing, all you have to do is come here and click here and write maybe travel guide. Write travel travel guide. Let's see. You see this Bali? This Bali. I see that this font is good. So all I'm doing here is looking for, for, for fonts. So I can use this font. So I bring it up here. Bring it up here. Change it to Paris. Mm -hmm. Now you can see Paris. So I stretch here and I bring it. This is Paris travel guide. So you can put it here Paris. So I have Paris and then you can bring this one here and say travel guide. So I have this thing saying Paris travel guide. So if you look at this very well, you're going to see that our Paris travel guide is not that visible. So we have to change the color. Now to change the color, we'll have to just come and click on this and click on this. And then I try to change the color maybe to yellow. Let me try yellow. You can see yellow. Then I can do this. If I do this yellow, then I have to do this also yellow or some other color. So let's first, first do this. If even yellow is still not visible. So how, how can I make it visible? So if I click on it, come to effects and I try this first effect, so try the second effect third effect that one is a bit clear and then I like this outline so let's try this outline if I do this outline and change this to black what will happen to black uh -huh, now you can see that thing that is better now travel guide if I can do this the word travel guide I can change it to also another color maybe green that's not good not good not good still too dark I need it to be light so I can leave it maybe at white then I put a stroke on it Put a stroke, come and put the outline, and then maybe, yeah, it shows black. Put black stroke. 
So as you can see, the word travel guide is still invisible. So since it is still like this and it's not not yet good still, so all I have to do is get an overlay, get something called overlay. So you come here and type gradient. Type gradient. So after typing gradient, you look for a gradient, a good one. So uh, let's go through these gradients and see. Now let's try this one. If I bring this one here and I, I, I turn it like this. After this, I move it. Yes. Then I stretch through. Stretch through to see. So if I stretch, you can see that now these other ones are visible. But then I have to change the color of this. So to change the color, I click on edit photo. Come here to see all. Now under the filters, you, you click on, you click and you try to find a good one. I want it to be a bit dark. So you try to find a good one. Maybe that. Then from here, I can add a shape. Click on this and add this shape. Bring this shape here. Under the word travel guide, you put a shape to balance it. So I can have this shape here. So I have this shape, which is saying Paris travel guide. Now from this shape, I can change the color of the shape to what I want. Or maybe yellow, not yellow. Yellow is too bright. Or I can change the color, maybe to red. Maybe to red, uh, not red, green. And move, you keep on moving like this to see which color matches, which color is good. You can even make it darker and make it darker. Something like that. So you can have Paris travel guide like that. Then I have to get space for the name. So I want to use the same shape for the name. So I just click on it. All I have to do is click on this plus. It will duplicate and I move it down. After moving it down, I can stretch it pass here, then I can change this. I click on this hamburger icon up here and where they're saying corner rounding, I reduce it to zero. Then I click on this and increase this a little. After increasing this, I click on this and change the color to white. Then I change the color, what do you think? Change the color to the, of this one to white and then this one back to yellow. So. As you can see, I can I have to increase this line, increase this line a little. I want it to pop out, and then also give this one a line. So I'll give this one also a line. So click here and give it a border. Give it a border and change the color of the border to white. I think that looks better. So I have Paris travel guide. Now I can put the name here. Click on this text for this added text. And maybe say den door. So this is the name, author name. I move it down here. Move the name down here and make sure it is balanced on this area. And I change the color maybe to white or any other color. So I change it to white. But white is not good on this thing. So I can leave it at black as it was. So black. So Jane Doe. As you can see, this is a complete travel guide and I can use this for myself. I can use this and to work for me. So this is how you're going to make a travel guide. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button so I don't miss what I can show you in the next video.